uh, 25 minutes. 25 minutes, oh, okay. 11, we should be outside. Okay, mm -hmm. so just remind me a little bit before. Okay. So, uh, as Katia probably told you, this is a heritage library, so that means a collection of old books, manuscripts, maps, and so on. And um, I, uh, maybe she explained to you when you were from the top, you know, you wanted the architect wanted that it looks like an archaeological site. So, as you can see, it's a kind of a more dark marble coming from Iran, by the way. And uh, so we have, uh, let's go there. Yeah, we'll start the presentation. It's, uh, it's unusual because, you know, in, in libraries, uh, special what we call they will have distinctive collection or special collections, which are like rare collection, I would say. Very often they are stored in the, in a safe somewhere, you know, when you never see them and you have uh, the opportunity to see them only when you go to the reading room and you're asking something from the catalog and you see one by one. And in this case, the, the interesting thing that the architects wanted also people have the feeling to be in, in a library, an old library. So as you can see, we have all the books, most of the bookshelves behind glass. So as you can see, it, it, it's a library, you see books, you see old books, and uh, it's protected, obviously. And uh, together with that, we have a kind of, big, we have an exhibition where you have books here between the shelves, and also with some place standing difference. So, to have a kind of inter more interaction with the public. It's not only an uh, aesthetical choice, uh, I'm so, uh, it depends on the users also. Uh, I'm surprised that uh, very often we have users coming to say, oh, I want to see, uh, that, that is that, oh, I want to see that book because of the title. So, you know, you, you used to work with catalogs, online catalogs or card catalog in libraries. But it, 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 in that case, it's interesting because we, we have uh, still, we have, people asking for books from the catalog, but we have also some people asking because they saw that something on the shelf and say, oh, the title is interesting for me, I would like to see it. And as we have a classification by topics, it's in, they, they can, when they find a book which is interesting for them, they can look a little bit around and then find more books. And it's an unusual way for visitors, for readers to have access to the heritage collection, because usually you see such books only through a virtual catalog. quite extensively everything related on Islamic world, but also very strongly we try to develop the collection and the, which are related between the more, more than Islamic world, we try to collect about the, the relation between East and West. Uh, I mean, what is this relation and the construction of this Islamic civilization in respect of its relation with the Far East and the Western country? So that's more of our focus and not and to, I will show you the importance of, uh, of this process of uh, building the knowledge. Um, you know, books are not art, you can say that it's meant to be read, and you have to sit in the bed and read a book. So maybe uh, you can read with books, it's quite a challenge, uh, unless you have very nice manuscripts, it's, a, it's not a, a nice object, and if you go to the uh, Museum of Islamic Art, where yeah. each item is such wonderful, so you can do that for the hour to get to look at it. So it's a challenge for us to, to present an exhibition only with books because it's quite boring and that's what